Good morning. Today, I would like to talk to you about customer relationship management software. So, CRM platforms. G'day, and welcome to episode number 28 of In The Car With Clint. It is Tuesday morning, and all the long weekends are gone until, oh, I don't know, three weeks, but that's cool. That's cool. We can do, do some four-day weeks, and then we'll get right back into it, and uh, it will be back to normal. I don't know if you've picked up on it yet, but I'm not a massive fan of public holidays. Um, I think uh, I think we have too many. But today, I want to talk to you about CRM. So yesterday, I got a text from a friend of mine, D'Artagnan, asking what CRM we used, um, and I thought it might be a benefit to you guys in the real world. D'Artagnan's in the real world too, with me. Um, to talk a bit about it. So, customer relationship management software has been something that uh, my companies have had um, a, a great weakness around for a long time, and um, it's, it's purely due to my lack of willingness to pay the stupid amounts of money that um, these SaaS companies want for their platforms. So, in the early stages, uh, when WaterPro was a little baby, the only the main reason we didn't pay for it is because we couldn't, we didn't have any money. Now we've got some money, I don't want to spend it because I think it's ridiculous and I think that they're overpriced. Now I do see the value in them um, for, like you, you'll get a return on investment for them, I just can't justify the money. So what we've done, and um, I've spoken about this before, is we use a product called Asana. Now you could probably use Monday or Slack or Trello uh, we used Asana because it was one of the first platforms. I think we've been using it for 10 years, and it's a free platform for users up to 30, uh, up to 30 users. And all we do, and this is not the traditional way to do it, but it works for us a little bit, it could be better, is each customer gets set up as a task in Asana, and then they have a due date on them, which is the next date that we need to, to contact them. And then you can set subtasks underneath them around jobs that we've quoted and chase ups for that. And you just never close the task. So, well, unless they go on the no dicks allowed list, then you close, close the task. But they just sit there and you just recur, 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 recur. You can um, have followers on the tasks. You can attach, uh, change the tasks to be uh, different responsibilities for different people. So say you have a business development manager that uh, is moved on and then you get a new one. You can reallocate it to the new guy or the new girl. Um, and, it, and it works. It's just it's cheap and what's well, free and it's kind of hacky, but it works. Now, the reality is, uh, we are not going to be able to maintain the Asana. I mean, we've got more than thirty staff now, so we've already stepped over that. Um, but we're not going to be able to maintain Asana as a CRM because it's just not uh, going to be financially responsible. The business can achieve more, and you know, as we get closer and closer to you know the, the upper, well, the you know the millions, the multi millions, we can't. Like every one percent of matters. So, you know, you you buy um, coffee beans a certain way, you can save five grand a year. You you know, you ring an extra two customers a day, you can do an extra million dollars a year. Whatever the numbers are, and they're just they're not real numbers, but it, it, it's going to matter. So, my belief is, and we're kind of sitting in the middle of the hybrid, is that um, in the future, five years, maybe ten years, depending on how people adopt things, the majority of these SaaS products are going to need to reduce their cost to the consumer because coding and firstly will become more inexpensive because more children grow up to become programmers and there's going to be a, a flood of available talent and two I truly believe that the drag and drop style um, of graphic design that you might see on a, on a software platform like Weebly is going to come across into software, so whether or not you want to create a a, a mini app to um, manage your fleet, you're going to be able to drag and drop that, and then the coding is going to be almost artificially intelligent in the background, or all the pre. And I can't explain this, and this is like I'm good with ideas, and maybe not as much with execution, but I think it's going to get to a point when where people it's just going to be so cheap or free that the software is just going to become a commodity, and it's not going to be, you know, fuck what's like, I don't know, we were looking at HubSpot, we looked at Zoho, and it was like 20 grand a year, 15 grand a year, it's just stupid, like, and I get that it costs money to develop software and that, the problem is I think the gig's up, and I think that it's going to get to a point where, um, you know, Google don't charge for their softwares, for their sheets, for their, 
I mean, there's probably an argument there that they probably shouldn't charge for them because they're shite. But all I'm saying is um, if you can be patient, I think it's gonna be there's going to be a time soon where you'll be able to get this done cheaply or do it yourself. Um, for us, we are going to do it ourselves now. We're just going to pay a little bit more. But I would much rather pay a software engineering company to develop my own CRM because A, I'm a real picky mofo and I don't, there'll always be something wrong with whatever platform we've got as far as I'm concerned because I want it to be how I want it to be. Uh, you know, not a, dem not a democracy over here at Waterpro on uh, Lawn Hub and Railways. Plus, once we've made it, we own it. You don't have to keep paying ongoing fees, ongoing fees every month, every month. Like, the subscription business model is the best business model in the world. The contracted subscription model where you're paying for 12 to 24 months, think about mobile phones, is even better. I know that just contradicted itself. Anyway, if you are looking for a CRM solution, I would suggest if you want to do it cheap, use a task management platform and uh, that'll do. You could use Excel if you really wanted to. Um, you could use a diary if you really wanted to, but if you are getting bigger and you're looking at the um, costs of maybe having a digital platform, have a look at maybe whether or not you can do it yourself. You probably may be able to, you may not be able to, but I think it's important for us to question these things. I just, I, I my staff hate it because they, they bring me a price for something and I just look at it and be like, nah, it's too much. And they're like, based on what? I'm like, I'm just telling you it's too much. I don't have any actual data behind it. And I think, sales softwares are too much and that's it like that's my answer so anyway thanks for tuning in to episode number 28 i hope you enjoyed your easter and had a safe one uh i'm gonna go try and finish setting up dry creek because we opened 28 minutes ago and we're not ready so take care be kind to each other and i will talk to you tomorrow